Cameron Diaz a matchmaker? Yeah, don't see that happening anytime soon. But Cameron Diaz says she doesn't dig marriage. That leads to our showbiz flashpoint. Is Cameron Diaz right that marriage is dead? Joining me tonight in New York, Carrie Riley is a comedian and blogger for GossipMama.com. In Atlanta, Carlos Diaz, I need to point out, we are just thrilled to announce Carlos Diaz is now the sports anchor for HLN's Morning Express with Robin yeah. Mead. We're all very excited about that, so Carlos, welcome. <laughs> Official welcome to the HLN family. And let me start with you right now with Cameron Diaz. She says marriage, marriage is dead, dead, dead. You and Cameron do share the same last name, of course, but well, do yeah. you share the same thoughts on marriage to our showbiz flashpoint? Is Cameron right, Carlos? It's obvious that she's having problems getting over our marriage. You know, it's, she's not been the same since we got divorced. Okay. No, but seriously, I, you know, the funny thing is it said, it said earlier Diaz thinks Cameron, Diaz thinks that marriage is dead. We both think that way. I mean, but think about it. As an actress or an actor, what is marriage? You go to work and you make out with other people. She's did, she just did a movie called Bad Teacher with Justin Timberlake. She's making out with her ex in the movie. And she's supposed to be dating A-Rod. So, yeah, for an actor, you don't spend time with your significant other. So, yeah, marriage is kind of dead if you're in that profession. All right, that's one way of looking at it. Carrie, I think she's speaking more as an antiquated institution saying, hey, these are modern times. It doesn't really fit in. So what do you think to our flashpoint? Marriage dead. No, marriage is alive and well. I'm married. My husband is thrilled. So I think. How are you doing? <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I think, no, well, she says my husband is thrilled. But no, I think, you know, when you look like Cameron Diaz, you don't have to worry about getting married because you're always going to look that way. When you look like people in middle America, people like me, we got to grab them when we're young because we're going to deteriorate and we got to pull out that contract and say, you can't leave me. You're yeah. still married. Yeah. What did I just say to you before we did this segment? I said, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I don't necessarily agree with her, but Cameron can say anything she wants, and I'm okay with it. She's beautiful. I, I, she's I, I gorgeous. She's adorable. Cameron has dissed marriage before, by the way. And let me tell you, the ladies of The View were all fired up uh, about this very topic on their show back then, especially HLN's own Joy Behar. Watch how this went down. Movie stars don't really last that long, do they? Paul Newman lasted. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Alan Alder, my friend Alan, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yeah. Many people. Lasted. Yeah, a lot but of people. It seems do. that's the generation. Are there new no. people? The new ones? I don't I know. I think there are new ones, but you're more defensively married. Like you're, you're more like, okay, we're going to get married and we're not going to split up. I think I would be good at marriage on my deathbed. I think that day, <laughs> seriously, you, when, I'm, when I'm there, yes. and then they say, do you want to get married? Yes, this is it now. Because <laughs> till death do us part is just five minutes away. Yeah. I mean, Carlos, does Joy have a point? <laughs> It's not just the Hollywood royalty, of course, who have a tough time with marriage. So maybe Cameron does have a point. Yeah, well, and the thing is, there's so many choices these days with Facebook and social media, you know, as far as dating and getting out there. But the, the, bottom, the bottom line is, when you look at what an actor or actress does, and the fact, by the way, that she said this in the Maxim Hot 100 issue, I've seen the issue, yeah. that issue is going to ruin a lot of marriages already. So, <laughs> well, yeah. you know, they're, they're done after hotter, that. hotter, right? Yeah. <laughs> there, there is that. But she's also talking relationships, Carrie, and I want to read something else she said okay. in the brand new Maxim. Guys need women who challenge them and don't let them get away with their S word. Women, conversely, need to not be crazy B words who blow up when their guys tell them something that scares them. Do you buy that? Yeah, I agree with that completely. Oh, okay. oh I, I think you still have to play that cat and mouse game even when you're married. I mean, you so, do. Right, agreed. You can't, right, agreed. You agreed. can't just sit there and be relaxed, and you still got to, you know, take care of the parts and all that business. <laughs> all right, and, and, this, and this is coming from a woman whose husband is thrilled that He's they're married. Thrilled. He Harry Riley, me. Carlos Diaz, I thank you both. Thank you. All right, now I want to hear from you. It's our Showbiz Tonight exclusive poll. Cameron Diaz says marriage is dead. Meh, do you agree? Yes, the times are a-changing. No, it's a great tradition. I want to see how this thing turns out. We'd love for you to vote at CNN.com slash showbiz tonight. Our email is working, too. The address, showbiz tonight at CNN.com.